What's up guys, starting today's video, I just want to talk about some steps on how to get prepped for ICC weekend or just the car meet itself. So if you're driving there, it's going to be a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's just do simo maintenance, just check your spark plugs, check your oil, check your coolant, check your transmission fluid. Just make sure that's all good to go, um, debating on where you're coming from. If you're driving there, you know, you want to make sure all that stuff is good to go. Pretty much it. You just, once you get there, you guys can probably start, um, what was it? Once you get to the meet, you can probably just start detailing it there. Because you're going to see a lot of people start rolling in, especially if you go in early. Uh, the gates are open at 12. Um, thing I like about ICC is that it's a car meet. Anybody can enter. Uh, there's people from, like, almost everywhere in the world or in the U.S. that's coming to it. Um... It's just not only imports, you'll see some domestics, you'll see some Supras, you'll see some GTRs. It's, it's a really dope meet for a mixture of cars, a lot of different car enthusiasts and stuff like that. And um, that's why I like going to this meet. And this is going to be the second time I'm going with with, the, with about seven people. And we're taking all of our cars, so it's going to be super sick and fun. I can't wait to reveal the um, the hatch out there. You know, with the with the one of one made fender right here. If you guys didn't know, this is an OEM slash wide body. You could say, but it's a fender flare that's been molded together and pretty much all done by Puga uh, at Diamond Auto Works. Super sick. And um, I'm trying to convince them to be able to make more of these like pre-made, just in case if anything were to happen with this one. So. But if you are driving there, you know, just make sure your maintenance is pretty much up to par. Hopefully your car is not too loud where it gets annoying after an hour of just driving. Um, you know, do a couple test hits, you know, cruise around your city for like an hour, two hours or so. See how your car is acting. And if it's good from there, then you pretty much can just take it everywhere. You know, bring extra tools for sure, like a jack. Um like a spare also just in case you know you have a blowout or something if anything were to happen and that's pretty much it if you're driving there now if you are gonna get an airbnb like us um there's a lot of things that you can do you could actually since you're gonna be more cars you can actually pack in more stuff so everybody's gonna have tools jacks you know spare parts stuff like that um one of my buddies is going to be having a trailer just in case anybody's cars, you know, fail or just break down on the way there. So it would be good to go there. And, um, yeah, just shit like that. You could just bring a lot of stuff just in case if anything were to happen. Now, I am taking this car to roll racing. Um, me and Tony actually made a bet. If I beat Oscar, he'll pay for my admission pass to get in the meet and roll racing. And he's going to give me 50 bucks on top. But if I lose to Oscar just that one time, I owe him a hundred bucks. Um, I said deal because who's gonna? How could you say no on getting a free car pass into the meet and roll racing too? So I was like, screw it, you know. I just want to race Oscar for fun, anyways. And plus the money that I'm paying for a hundred bucks pretty pretty much equals out on the bet and paying for the roll racing, anyways. So it's gonna be really fun. Um, I think. All I need is a helmet. I'm pretty sure my battery strap is tied down pretty good. Everything else is pretty good. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do. Uh, just an all-motor K or stock K. Just full bolt-ons on, on a base map. Not even like a dyno tune or anything. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, hopefully I could upset some people. But we will see. Um, I always tell people like this is not a fucking drag car. It's a track car. Um... It's meant for circuit racing, it's meant for autocross, it's meant for that type of stuff. Um, the whole time I've been building this car, is like I haven't done anything to the motor except try to make it run better and get some little details here and there to, you know, really help the car. Um, this year, I stepped up the front end game of the car, got more grip, I'm not spinning no more until my floor it, so hopefully that's good. Um, next year, I'm going to be focusing on the suspension work. Um, I really want a uh, fucking sway bar in the back because I don't have one and like a tie bar and stuff like that. Then 
get some new suspension. These race lands are pretty much junk. Um, I really want to put the extended top hats on it, but I really haven't got the time to do it because I just don't want to do it. So we'll see there. Get some custom spring rates, stuff like that. Make sure everything's good. Um, I'm gonna start looking into more um, axle options that I could run on this car because the axles that I currently have are 500 rated insane shafts. But I know they're supposed to be straight, but like my axles are actually like tilted at a certain angle, so I'm actually kind of scared that it's gonna break if I do launch it hard on like in the dig or something. But I launched it on the dig before, nothing happened, so we'll see. I'll give you guys an update on if it breaks or not. It's just kind of scary how the axles are actually angled and it's not like perfectly straight how on how it's supposed to be. But yeah, like those are my tips for ICC. Um, just pretty much just bring tools, jacks, some extra stuff when you get there, especially so like a detailing bucket, which I have. And um, I'm just gonna have a good time. Super excited. I have a lot of people coming this year. We have about seven people, including myself. So. And we got an Airbnb, and it's like a house and a guest house, so we have two houses pretty much. And um, we got a garage, driveway, um, a, like a privacy driveway because it has a gate on it. So it's going to be super dope. I can't wait to get there this weekend, actually. Um, it's going to be Friday. is the day that we're going to be leaving. I'm still debating if I'm going to trailer this or not. I'm trying to see if the homie Brandon can take the truck if you can take the truck then we're gonna trailer it but if you can't we're gonna be driving this thing and hopefully um, these Kendas um, will survive that road trip cuz uh, these Kendas are really good I know some people are sponsored by them um, they grip up really good it's just that if you do daily drive on them they're gonna wear down quick just cuz the like how the tire is made it's not really um, it's really like a soft compound tire, so it's like a straight, like pure performance tire, and I really like them. Got them for super cheap through my work. I got a discount on it also, so it was like eighty-five or like ninety bucks for like each tire. wasn't too bad. So yeah, also give you guys some updates. Just check on the spark plug. Spark plug looks all right, so I'm about to throw that back in. Um, also got the headlight done. Let me see if I can grab my light. So I can show you guys. Also, I'm gonna do a little mods here and there too. I'm gonna be running no front plate, just cause I think it will make the car a lot cleaner, in my opinion. But uh, you could kind of see it. There you go. Got the yellow tint headlights. I did a poll on Instagram and on Facebook if I should do it. A lot of people said yeah. A lot of people said no to uh, towards the end of the, like the day of the voting and stuff because I just counted off the votes when I woke up because I posted it pretty early yesterday or the day before. So I woke up, counted the votes, and yellow tint headlights won. Then everybody was just like, "What the heck? Why you do that?" I was just like, "It's just cause I, I wanted it to be different. I always wanted to do this look, but I just didn't know how or how I feel and how it's gonna like turn out to be." But, um, yeah, I think <laughs> my cousin missed a couple spots here on the headlight. It's okay. I'm just going to be covered up anyways. Just hopefully it doesn't come off over time. But if he does, he says he's going to come down and fix it anyway. So, can't wait to throw the bumper back on. Have everything lined up and stuff like that. Super excited for ICC. Let's see if I can show you guys some details real quick. Um, so, I deep clean the engine bay. You can't tell. It Everything has just been washed, or not washed, but like I rinsed out the engine bay, took some degreaser, hosed it down, uh, went over this with some car show glaze uh, um, compound, just hand, just hand wiping it. And then uh, all these lines right here, all these hoses is all like shined out with tire shine, surprisingly. Um, I thought tire shine was flammable at first. But certain brands, they are not flammable. So you just gotta look that stuff up. Um, I actually ended up using some Meguiar's Hot Shine. That's what I used. Um, pretty sure it's not flammable. Um, I looked into the like 
what's what it's made and stuff like that. They said it wasn't flammable, so if you're just trying to like shine up a little things like your hoses or your brake booster or your, you know cow right there or like make it super shiny, I recommend using this hot shine right here. Um, it does one hell of a job on shining everything up. I was surprised of how good it, like everything turned out. So if you guys are looking into doing that, I would recommend that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully it's not too long. I know I was kind of like rambling about some random shit too. But it's just because I wanted to get it out of the way and tell you guys about it. Coolant's still looking good. I'm about to fill up my overflow yeah i know i'm prepping kind of early but i'm probably i will ch recheck everything over again the day of before we leave just in case if i'm not if i'm not trailering this definitely want to recheck over everything if i'm gonna drive it because i don't want anything breaking and getting told there and getting told back home but if you guys like this video like comment subscribe and peace